Hello friends, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing great. In today's video we've got some brand new leaked information about the Pokedex and what makes up these Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and pretty much confirming what it's going to look like going into these new games. Going to cover all of this leaked information today, but bear in mind if you are wanting to stay spoiler free at this point, you probably know how these videos go, but this probably isn't for you. But if you do and you are interested, stick around, we're going to go through everything that's kind of been going on the past day or so. So, kind of start yesterday with Riddler Koo putting this tweet out in regards to the Gen 9 Pokedex final version um, and this image, tiny little image here. But on the back of that, the Pokemon Code Kraken Discord group and Pearl Enthusiast and Riddler Koo, which credit goes to for all of the information, compiled pretty much everything together to make it a bit more readable and um, so we can have a look at the actual Gen 9 Pokedex which is really exciting. Got some surprises in there as well so you can see a uh, coup kind of confirming cool you just got a few slots wrong so bear in mind there are a few slots wrong nothing's a hundred percent but it's as close as we've got at the minute but Pearl Enthusiast put this image up and this is like I said uh, all the credit goes to these people here at the Code Kraken server over on Discord, the Pearl Enthusiast, which is the Twitter account we're on, and also Riddler Koo. So you can see here, here is the image that they compiled of all the Pokemon that we've got returning in the Gen 9 Pokedex, which is pretty interesting. Big one straight off the bat is that Charizard down there. I don't know how I feel about it. Personally, I would have liked to have seen Charizard just kind of not come into Scarlet and Violet, uh, just miss a Gen. It gets oversaturated, that's just my opinion. I like it as a Pokemon, but it gets too much love from Game Freak and you can kind of understand why but it will be returning so we're going to see Charizard but bear in mind this bottom row of Pokemon these are stated to be all home transfer in Pokemon so these aren't going to be available to catch in the games according to these leaks uh, these are all going to be transferred in from Pokemon Home so that's kind of interesting as well Charizard in there big one for me is though Greninja I know a lot of players are wanting to see Greninja and Scarlet and Violet and it's nice to see that it's going to be able to be transferred in from Pokemon Home even if it's not be able to be caught in the wild in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet there's a bunch of Pokemon that we know from the trailers that we've had so far for these games that have been confirmed but there's a bunch as well that haven't been and uh, it's nice to see them kind of included in the this chart so you've got Raichu which is pretty self-explanatory up in this top left hand corner here obviously Pikachu is going to be in the game so Raichu definitely going to be in the game you've got Nita King Nita Queen which is pretty cool some of my favorite Pokemon uh, Primeape it has been touted to be getting a kind of a paradox form as well in these games so the same with Tentacruel it is rumored to be getting one of those regional fake forms like Wiglet uh, from Doug Trio, uh, Diglett. So we'll see how that pans out. We've got no information on Paradox or any more uh, regional fake Pokemon at the minute, but Tentacruel confirmed to be in the deck. So that makes it a bit more uh, legible, I guess. Uh, then the other Pokemon that we've got, big ones for me, uh, Ampharos, Azumarill, very cool Pokemon. Nice to see them returning. Uh, Weavile, another one that'll be good to confirm to come in. Uh, you've got Tyranitar, which is an exclusive to Scarlet, and then Salamence, which will be the exclusive from Gen 3 in Violet. So they're already confirmed to be in the games, but you've got a bunch of other ones. Camera up there as well. Uh, Hariyama, we kind of had confirmation from the TM machine that that will be in the in the new games and then we've got just a bunch of others you can take a look at it yourself and i'll just make it a little bit bigger here and we can kind of scroll through some of these pokemon and see if anything really sticks out to us now the big thing for me in this is there's a lot of pokemon there's a lot of rumors going around at the minute are the hisuian forms going to be in these games whereas if you look through the pokemon that are available here and are listed there's a lot of the original hisuian forms that are actually confirmed in this leak to be in the games so you've got obviously stantler here you've got uh hisuian uh, Weird Deer in the um, in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Got Zoroark as well, but that has been confirmed to have its Hisuian form in these new games. Gudra and Avalug are also confirmed here and they both get their Hisuian form. So interesting to see if that'll be something in here. Obviously Arcanine up here, we've got Arcanine. So that does get a Hisuian form as well. Quillfish, another one from Gen 2 getting confirmed does have a Hisuian form. So pretty much a lot of the Hisuian forms are gonna be in here. Anamorous as well is a Pokemon that is listed down the bottom that can be traded in. And you do have these Hisuian forms like Cleaver, uh, Usulana and um, 
um, the other ones that are there that can be transferred in. So it would make sense that the other Pokemon that are available that do have Hisuian forms, Lilligant as well, is another one that they are going to be available in the games, which is really exciting because these Pokemon Legends Arceus, Hisuian forms, very cool form as we've never had them in a main series title yet so it'd be great to have them kind of pulled over into these games but this is pretty much all of the Pokemon that we're going to see in the Gen 9 Pokedex we're obviously going to have the brand new Pokemon that are exclusive to Scarlet and Violet in these games as well so the Pokedex looking like it's going to be pretty big pretty sizable and it's going to have a lot of Pokemon that have maybe been missed out in Pokemon Sword and Shield coming back and returning in Scarlet and Violet obviously Breloom going to be my top one that I am so excited about using in these games as well as a few others but uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below about the leaked Pokemon Pokedex. Obviously, just remember, keep in mind that it's not 100% accurate. Q has said that there are a few slots wrong still, so there could be some changes going forward. So don't put your money on this being the final looking Pokedex. This is just a very close match to what we're going to get in these games. And we're getting very close to the games as well now. So the games are going to be dropping very soon. I'd imagine we're going to get even more leaks in the next week or two. So keep up to date with it on the channel. We'll be covering everything as things do drop but I hope you've enjoyed today's video, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to check out some of the other content on the channel that we've got in regards to Scarlet and Violet. We are trying to keep on top of everything here as it drops, but uh, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.